everyone, this is Steven from Android Spin, and we're going to be unboxing the Motorola Moto G today. Um, so a lot of you already know that the Moto G has been released uh, in the US and UK. Um, they actually recently released a uh, dual SIM version in Australia and India. So that brings uh, the number of versions available up to five. So of course you've got your uh, your two uh, American GSM 18 and 16 gig versions only available in America. Uh, you've also got your 8 gig and 16 gig versions, uh, the international GSM, which you can get in the UK and America. And of course, you now have this uh, this 8 gig dual SIM Moto G uh, available in Australia and India. Um, I've heard that they're going to come up with a 16 gig one, but uh, it, that's not available yet. Anyway, uh, let's jump straight into uh, unboxing. So as you can see, um, the the box is a box. Um, it looks nice. So if you just open it up here, you have your Moto G sitting right on top. As you can see, it's got a rather awkward sticker. Um, well, I guess it's not quite awkward yet since the uh, the deal isn't finalized, but. Most of you will know that Motorola will be a Lenovo company, not a Google company. And uh, yesterday we found out that Lenovo will actually uh, uh, have a 6% stake. Uh, well, no, sorry. Google is going to have a 6% stake in Lenovo. So, um, anyway. Uh, so you can see the Moto G here. Um, you've probably seen lots of photos of it before already. Um, so you've got it here. It's getting a bit of dust on it. Um, the build quality is actually quite good. Um, I really like the feel of it. And if I get, get my camera focused or not. Um, so we got it right there. Um, feels quite heavy. Anyway, let's check out what else is in the box. And so we've got a headset here. It looks uh, predictably ordinary. Um, you've got it's got a mobile uh, at inline attachment there, which is uh, good for if you're on the run. And very standard earphones there, so that's there. Um, we've also got USB cable, micro USB cable. Very standard again, that looks like about one meter. That's going to be useful. Um, and you've got well, Motorola branded. USB charger. Don't be alarmed, that's Australian. That looks a bit unusual. Um, so that's also going to be good. Alright, so we've got a couple of manuals in here. Little roll of warranty. Um, oh, how to remove the back cover. That's going to be useful. Uh, let's get started. Safe, smart, and protected. It sounds like the uh, the tagline for a smart car. Anyway, let's try and open it up as it says in the instructions. Uh, to remove the back cover of your Moto G, press the center and grip the bottom edge and lift the bottom up. Sounds good to me. Oh, there we go. So, I'm just opening it up here without breaking it. Because I just got this yesterday. Um, as you can see, we've got the inside there. It says the battery is not user removable. Maybe not if I tried hard enough. Um, so you've got, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there is one SIM slot there on the side, right here. And the other one is right at the back here, opposite. I don't know why they couldn't have made that into a micro USB slot, but anyway. Um, so that's the inside of the Moto G. Again, the build quality looks to be um, really good. I'm going to speak it there. And it's all quite solid. And obviously you can't take the battery out or anything like that. So uh, that's good. We'll just take a look around the device itself. Okay, so we've got the micro USB slot there at the bottom. And the mic, kind of tiny also there. And you've got the volume bumpers and the hold button on the right side here. They feel pretty ordinary. 
Um, you've got your audio jack at the top, and if my camera wants to focus instead of auto focusing all the time. Uh, you've also got, I think that's a mic as well. Um, so there you have it. That's the Moto G Dual SIM 8 gig version uh, from Australia and also available in India. I actually think it's uh, out of stock in India since they only made it available from one online retailer. Uh, but they say that stock will be back soon. So um, there you have it. Stay tuned for our review of the Moto G. Um, and I'll see you next time.